Hey, today we are going to talk about a question that we get sometimes from people that are moving into Birmingham, and uh, that is questions about uh, should they look for homes uh, in a gated community versus uh, what kind of nice communities um, don't have gates here in the Birmingham area. So we just want to talk a little bit about um, not just necessarily the pros and cons, but maybe just the way people think about um, if they want to buy a home and so maybe some things to think about within the gated community. So I think probably as a female, our number one concern is security or safety. And, um, you know, some people think that a gate would ensure that. Uh, but you know what? We would recommend a tip is just go online and Google the area that you're wanting to move to and just see what the crime rate and different things like that are on the website. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense, right, um, that a gated community would be more secure and, um, and more safe. But, so we get that question sometimes, um, what else? I think another thing to consider when you're moving into a gated community is what kind of gate they actually have. Because um, there's probably pros and cons to both kinds. Right, so there's the gate that is manned by an individual who will potentially take your driver's license, uh, look at your, or, or record your license plate just so they can track who's coming in and out of the neighborhood. Well, right? and also a lot of those that have a manned gate will also have a list. <laughs> so you, they will check to see if you are actually on the list to be um, allowed into the neighborhood. So it sounds great to think that you've got somebody who's a security guard who's watching over and certainly uh, that, again, that makes sense, but it can be a little bit of an inconvenience as well, right? Because right. you can't have uh, people just pop in. Some personalities <laughs> don't want okay pop-ins, right? The rest of us would be like, hey, I want a surprise. Um, the other thing, or the other type of gate is um, just like a type-in code gate. Yeah, where you just like enter a code. I mean, generally, um, that code is going to be there and, and hopefully will be changed whenever uh, a seller moves out of that neighborhood into a new code, but what code are really easy to share right <laughs> share with kids high school kids I, and friends or and, even service people that come right. in and like work on your different appliances Pizza delivery right. man right so everybody has access to that code possibly and um that i mean that may take away some of the security features that you might be wanting if that's the type of gated community community that you're going into but it may be more convenient as well right. just for the everyday life right I think another thing that people think about when you're talking about a gated community is like they offer amenities. Mm -hmm. So things like maybe a clubhouse or a very pretty lake or a, a pool, pool, gym, um, gym, tennis, you know, some of those kinds of things. And yes, uh, gated communities do offer those things. But the cool part about Birmingham is that there's several um, communities that offer those things that do not have a gate. So there's there you could go either way. Right. I mean, there are some fantastic communities here in Birmingham that don't have gates, but their pool area, their clubhouse, their gym is on par with anything here in town. So you don't have to have a gated community in order to get nice amenities. Right. And so probably the other big factor that people would consider as far as wanting or not wanting a gated community is the HOA fees. Yeah. Because with all of that added security comes added dollars. That's right. <laughs> so we looked up some homes, um, some within a gated community, some outside of a gated community. Just and, so that we could compare the HOA fees, right? right? We wanted to see kind of where the pricing was. And these were all about the same size home, somewhere in the 3,000 square foot range. Um, and they're all, you know, about the same price point. And so the ones without a gate, um, the HOA fees came in from about $1,000 to 1500 Per where, year. Per year, right, right, per year. And then the homes with gated communities ran from about $1,600 to $2,200 a year. So there's a, little, there's a little difference there, right? Yeah. So that's where you guys can decide. Is it worth that extra few bucks to have the gate or not? So a uh, fun fact uh, that um, is not always well known in town is that any neighborhood um, where the city maintains the streets, if that neighborhood puts a gate to the entrance, they no longer can depend on uh, the city or the county uh, to maintain the streets, which means that when it comes to every few years, making sure that the asphalt is in good shape uh, and those type of expenses, those are gonna fall back on the HOA, HOA which means it's going to fall back on the homeowner. So just you know, one thing to think about, um, we, we have seen some communities in the past um, consider putting a gate up to make their, their community gated um, and decide not to just because they didn't want to bear the burden of that extra um, upkeep there. Right. 
So Birmingham has a ton of communities. Some have gates and some do not. So this is a decision for you guys. That's right. So we are Mike and Brandy Brown with Keller Williams. We would love to be your real estate resource here in Birmingham, Alabama. If you have questions about this or any other topic, feel free to call us. My number is 205-368-5995 or send an email to info at mbbrownrealty.com. We hope you guys are having a great day. We'll see you next time.